Starting and ending a session with a TSCT computer. You're on a network when you're at the Stevens campus. You're not at home where you're the only one using your PC. So you're going to have to identify yourself. And you do that by logging in and logging out to the network. This keeps your information such as your email account uh, messages and sending messages and your privileges for things that are done on the computer are all defined uh, when you log in to the computer. When you're done, you're going to log off. These two things go together with the amount of time that you're going to use the computer separating them, but you have to remember to do both. We're not going to provide a screen capture for this. pretty easy to do. When you sit down in front of a TSCT computer, it's going to ask you to enter your username and password in a box. Your username you know it. Middle, first initial, middle initial, last name, same as the first part of your TSCT email address. You've been using it a lot. You won't forget it. Your password is what keeps your account secure. Only you will know your password. Not even the people that do the computer maintenance on the campus will know it. Keep it. Don't give it to someone else you're going to be responsible for what happens on the TSCT network and the only way to make sure that only you could do that is that you know your password. Also note that if you fail to enter your password correctly when you sit down to use the computer they're going to give you a couple times to do it but if you do it too many times in a row it's going to lock you out for a certain amount of time. This is to protect against someone being able to sit down and try over and over and over again to address your password. Once you're logged in, you do your work. It'll seem like you're just at home. When you're done, you need to log off. Um, you're going to find the Windows Start menu, Log Off. We're going to show you a quick uh, video of how to do that. It's different for a lot of different computers, but down in the start button you should find somewhere that says log off. We don't want you to shut down your computers for the most part. We leave them run the most uh, for a length of time because it's better for the computers that way. So just log off when you're done. Don't shut down the computer. Remember to log off the computer. Acceptable use policy holds you responsible for anything that happens on the computer while you're logged on this is the only way to do that so even if you get up to take a quick break make sure you log off the computer so no one can jump on your computer and do something that's it logging off your computer might be different for many computers but a lot of times for Windows 7 if I come down here to the start button I click on there I don't want to click on shutdown but if I click on the arrow, I move up, you'll notice there's a log off entry and you're going to left click that and that'll allow you to log off.